Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. Um, the Taurus B dot O dot B dot is still here. You slept good? I slept very well last night. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. I, I usually, I used to be a morning like five in the morning and like no matter what day it was, I used to get up way early. Now it's like, oh, let me sleep a little 30 minutes more and 30 minutes more. So, but I didn't go to bed till like maybe 1 a.m. But uh, I know I need, we needed to get going on this today. So, um, it's the last shot. Yeah, I think we're going to make some good progress since we're, we might have three hours straight, three and a half hours straight of, you know, uh, framing. So we'll probably get that done, hopefully by lunch. And then we got the juicy crab. We're really, really looking forward to this. Um, so looking forward to Yeah. That. So it's like a, it's going to be a feast, just a feast and really, uh, like king crab. Um, that's, I can't even think straight because once I said king crab, you know, it's like, right. wow. But and I'm uh, not a king crab person. I love king crab, but I never buy it. Like, well, it's free, but. That's what I'm saying. The, We're going to get a huge spread. Yeah, the crab seller um, that I'm going to in Chicago, with all you can eat crab, uh, king crab, and oh. sirloin prime rib, but I bumped it up to filet mignon. Yeah, because it's a one it's a once in a lifetime thing, and hopefully they let they let us videotape it. Because you're talking about flaming. It's one hundred twenty nine dollars a person. All you can eat, but it's all you can eat for only two hours. I'm like, hopefully they keep it coming. You got to get in there and set the cameras up before they start the timer. I think that that truly is one of the best competitive eating videos ever. Because you you know you want to eat, and you I would eat the two hours. Like you know what I mean? I'm, yeah. You might obviously you're gonna slow down. You can't just keep throwing down, but. I, I would have, eat that whole time. I, she 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 told me when I came inside. I told her price. She goes, "Are you crazy?" And I said, "This is a once in a lifetime. This is not me normally spend that much." But I have to tell these people, it's a hundred and nine. If you come before five thirty, seven thirty, I pick that one because it must be better food there because it's hundred twenty nine. Yeah. They charge me more. Well, like, maybe okay. it's just busier. I don't know. I I, I, I think they got better sides, but, but you got to pay extra for the two limited unlimited sides. Like, okay. Normally, I'm getting king crab, and then I'm paying 20 extra dollars per person for filet mignon. Mm -hmm. So who wants unlimited sides that fill you up? Right. So I do it because she's with me. So she likes the asparagus, maybe, whatever the two unlimited sides is. That's an extra $20 per person. Wow. $500 all together with two people for two hours, including gratuity. And I bumped it up 2%. It was 18. <laughs> it was 18. Like, you know what? But I don't like, how do they... I just don't understand the people. You bump the gratuity up or just pay gratuity before you even know what the service is. That, that whole thing is really weird with me. Not that, obviously, as competitive eaters, we, we tip well. Yeah. Because you just have to because they serve us extra than the normal And person. then you get beat down in the comments. But it's so, in my opinion, it's so <laughs> weird that I always had an issue with, if somebody brings you out a $75 plate of crab legs or they bring you out a $6 hamburger, you're supposed to tip different off the price. But I always feel bad about that person who can't get the job at that high-end restaurant. Now, I guess they're better waiters and waitresses, but they're really just walking the food over. So it's just weird that you're giving somebody, say, a $30 tip for the crab legs, or you're giving them a $2 tip for the burger, and they did the same exact service. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going through my head. But I'm, like, I got to interrupt you, because as soon as you told me about this... Two hours of eating, yeah. you know, at some point you slow down. So then you spend five or ten minutes just opening up crab legs. You know what I mean? Because just gathering up. Like, I wouldn't waste a moment of time. Like, it'd always either be opening up the crab legs or, or something. I think I would let her open all the crab legs up. Well, at some point she's going to give up. She's going to give all. No, she, well, yeah. She, but she's going to take. All, usually, I'm going I'm to eat the first crab legs just to. I'm not a crab person. It's overrated to me. Crab legs and, and lobster tails is just overrated to me. So I'll eat it just to have it, say I had it. But after that, we're going to trade. I'm going to have filet mignon, and she can have the, you know, right. so when they bring both of them out, we can, you know. Right. So we can do that. But Can I throw in a little, a little known fun fact? Go ahead. So right now, lobster is supposed to be a delicacy. I mean, it's, a, it's reachable for the everyday man. It's not... Too expensive, you can get afford a lobster like the snow crab, the king crab legs, is probably out of price for some people. But, but the two by fours are more. The two by fours oh, are okay. even more than crab that's, legs. That's another story. Go ahead. I'm sorry. 
But lobsters, if you look up the history of lobsters, I'm telling you this is the honest truth. They used to serve them to prisoners. And the prisoners basically went on strike, refusing to eat lobsters every day. Or So they limited how many days they passed this rule. You could only give prisoners lobsters so many days a week. And somehow that whole thing more because it was thought to be a low-end food, because it was a bottom of the ocean, it was a scavenger. And now they somehow morphed that into, it's a special food. Here we used to give it to prisoners. And nothing against prisoners, but that'd be pretty good food if you're in prison, you just get lobster. Yeah, it's in like, my opinion. but they should just kept fading them to, to punish them for being in prison. Yeah. Yeah, just like here, here's the well, lobster. I will be you thinking sucker. about it. And it, it gets cold <laughs> in the winter, you don't want to pay your heating bill, you go... Yeah. You go rob a corner store. Go get well, when some I was when I was going to frequently jail, I never got lobster. But the same guy was in there three times when I was in there. Like, what's going on with you, man? He goes, Oh, I just need a warm place to stay in the winter time, so I do something stupid that I know I'm getting out in about a week. My grandfather had a neighbor. I, the only reason I said winter, every winter, he would go up and and like rob something, but not leave the store. Like he would like walk out front of the store. Oh, okay, not a strong on. No, no, no. He would okay. go in and grab something, walk out the front of the store. And just, just wait, stand there. He get arrested. <laughs> give the give the stuff. Like back. that one with the yeah. guy that just walks inside and, and closes the. What's that older um, TV series? Was it Andy Griffith? The guy used to walk into oh, prison yeah, and yeah. just <laughs> shut the door. Because <laughs> he got fed, he got heat. Yeah. It, he had indoor plumbing then. You know, it was warmth. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. But if you look at society, we have all these immigrants coming over. And they're packing them in little things. So being in a cell back, you know, a cell where people are feeding you and you don't have to do anything. No. You don't have to work. You don't have to do anything. I, I would not recommend it because it doesn't look like a fun place to me. But that was back in the day. It was the local lockup. There was no, you know, there's nobody else around. They, he wasn't getting sentenced to, you know, hardcore. Police. We used to get Bird King at the Cent Cent Centerville um, police station. And I was there three days. I got fed three times. Not three times a day. Three times? Only three times. And I was complaining about not having water because the water was leaking through the middle of my cell. And I shut the water off, the toilet, the, everything. No water, so I had to have my hand out the, you know, like a right. POW, like sitting there. And um, I, I'm shaking the cup, like, you better be glad you got that. You know, like when they give me water, finally. Right. Like, wow. Like, they treat me like I'm a criminal. <sighs> so where I grew up... But they never gave me lobster. My, my police township, you know, of course you have to lock up when someone gets arrested right away. You, you get locked up locally. Yeah. And my friend's dad was a cop, so he'd he'd always say, yeah, they just go over to Burger King. Yeah. And they would buy the food because they didn't have a cafeteria or anything. They, you know. No. Yep. And, and I'm like, really? They're getting Burger Like, <laughs> I want Burger King. I, I thought it was the coolest thing you got, free Burger King. I don't know where they got mine from when we was in Cahokia, because that was the number one spot where I used to go, because I lived in Cahokia. And that's where I, you do most stupid stuff around your house, I think. Just like car accidents, they got sure block away from your house, usually some kind of percentage. Well, percentage, yeah, I'm going to jail in Cokia before I go to the county. Like, they lock you up for two days to get the state $60 a day or whatever, and then they, uh, that's how much they get paid by the state every time you're locked up. So they lock okay. you up as long as possible, and then they um, ship you to the county. But the first day you get a toast with a some kind of sausage egg thing for breakfast for lunch you get a hamburger with a bun but if you're there the second day they switch it up on you they put the bun on the sausage and the toast on the <laughs> burger like oh, this way yeah. the but probably technically i don't think nobody ever noticed that by law they have to have like so many meals <laughs> so they just keep swapping yeah so it's like they had to switch it up but uh i guess nobody ever noticed because they were in jail like all the time like that but i'm like Yo, yeah. day two, I'm getting this. <laughs> yeah, so I already know. Like, I already know what I'm getting. Oh, but uh, we're gonna um, we're gonna get back over here and uh, get to work. So um, I just wanted to, to to greet you guys in the morning um, while we get to working because we might be too busy to to uh, get down to sit and talk to you guys. So um, I will uh, I can, will shut this down. Go ahead. Can I say something yeah, real quick? Ahead. Like I I came to help, but I love the outdoors and. This is really going to be hard, 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 hard to get up to help right now. I really want to build this chicken coop. This backyard is like, is incredible. It is incredible. It's so peaceful here. And you just have beautiful landscaping and 
cool. The temperature is awesome. Well, we, I haven't saw, like, I kept telling him I never saw a raccoon out here, but I just see one the other day. And, um, and then last night, about no rabbits. I haven't saw a rabbit in this yard ever. I just see, saw two down the street. It's weird. But I'm pointing over here because there's a, a goose looking at me this whole time. Oh, how about that? Yeah, that's where that raccoon was the other day. Listen, okay. I, I would point over there with that camera, but you're not going to be able to see it. So, uh, But that's one of the ones. And it's only one of them. Usually there's two all the time. Oh, there's on the other side. See, there's one right here. It's hiding. Oh, I saw the one on the other I, side I, I first. never saw this one. I, I just saw it. But there's, if you guys don't know, nice. another fun fact. I got fun facts, too. 80% right. oh, of birds are monogamous. So if one dies, they're not going to go find another mate. Wow. 80% of the time. I'm not sure if they grew out of it and they cheat on their mates now. I, you know, how society is now, you never know. Lucy Goosey. You see what I did there? Yeah. But, um. Yeah, that's just uh, that's just a fun fact. That's all, I, that's all I got. I had a house. It was nine acres in the middle of the woods. Our driveway was a quarter mile long because it was a shared driveway. We had a, a pair of geese. They had a, a nest, probably fifteen feet from our front door of our house. Of all the of all the land, they picked right next right to our house. Right in front, huh? And for some reason, they gave up on the nest, and. They took off walking, and they walked down our driveway, and we pulled out behind them to try to leave. We had to follow walking geese for a quarter mile. And they don't walk they, fast. No, they, they were, it was like. Like was walking like in Walmart thought, with somebody in front of you. their nest. And we were like, what, what is going on? And they were going to honk or whatever, because, but they're, they're interesting if you ever had experience to be close to them. Because they don't pick the best nest spot. Where I live now, they pick right next to the sidewalk every year, right next to the sidewalk. And kids will come by and play with the eggs or want to go up and see, which are being little kids. You know what I'm talking about? And they're mad Three, at four, them. five-year-olds. And I'm like, man, I hope that goose doesn't, doesn't like, snip at you. At first, I thought the location was the people throwing bread because they're right there. But yeah. I didn't think about the kids. Oh. Uh, touching the know. eggs. Once they touch the eggs, I don't think the bird wants I, I it, right? I don't think so. But, I mean, I don't know, but... They always, they never, I've never seen babies come from that nest. And they come back every year and put it in the same spot. Well, I don't know. They act like prisoners that don't like lobsters once you touch the egg. Like, what, <laughs> what, we got COVID or something? I think so. They must, yeah, they must know something. They're mad at each other over there. On the other, each, uh, each are on the other side of the it. creek. It's trying to figure out how to get by yeah. to the side, but they fly. I don't, yeah, was, I don't understand. It like he's yeah, it's like but walking back and forth pacing. Walking the yard over here. Who knows? Okay, well, we're going to get to working, uh, so we'll see you guys in a bit. Can I have the honor? What? Go ahead. GoPro stop recording. Okay, we're getting this uh, wall up. Um, there's going to be a door right here, and then I'm going to cut out a chicken, chicken walkway there, so right through there. They might get a screen in porch. I'm not sure. We'll figure that out later. That's getting too fancy. But uh, Bob's here. He's just hiding on the other side of the wall right there. Okay. We'll be back. We'll be back. Okay. I, we got work to do. All right. Come on. You're doing this by yourself. Let's let's get teamwork here. Let's get this thing banged out. What can we do? I didn't know you were recording. <laughs> I mean, Tosh and I are doing I was this. glad he said that. I'm doing all the work with myself. <laughs> actually, I actually, I was going to be funny because I was talking about stuff while I was just screwing. I just did like two screws. I saw it. Was, but they I was, was talking. Thinking, I was like, what is he doing? I was going to have y'all just talking about what y'all are talking about and just be working, Wayne. He's like, hey, get back to work. You should sell okay. some chairs. All right. I'll just put in two screws. I thought it was funny over there, but I got to go. Yeah, I saw it was one down. GoPro, stop recording. Bob noticed something. This, this caterpillar, oh, now it's drunk. He was following this line all the way over to here. I was busy working, so uh, that's how Bob figured that out. He said he was getting high, like snorting Coke, Coca-Cola, and uh, but now he's yeah. He's like, "What are you doing?" He lost it. Nope. Get on track. There we go. Get back on track. There he goes. Oh, now you gave away our secret. Oh, we was racing caterpillars out here. <laughs> oh, they said not to uh, not to fight uh, birds. Or calks. I'm gonna say call them calks because you don't supposed to calk fight. But uh, but yeah, they uh, we're doing, we're racing caterpillars around here. Sorry, had to uh, had to get that on tape. But.
but if you ever want a caterpillar going a straight line you want your your caterpillar to walk that line any caterpillar of mine will walk that line And everybody's watching this like we want to see a chicken coop this that's how you feed the chickens you draw a chalk line and all the cats let's walk right in this asmr oh. if we you know okay guys we are pretty much done for the day we got about almost as much as we wanted done uh, i'm going to do a doorway there but i'm going to frame that over all the way to there on top just depends how big the door is going to be. I'll frame that up later. Um, and uh, we got the beam in here. I did I beam in the middle. What we're going to do is pitch the roof this way and this way. And then it's going to stick out just a, a little bit. That's what she said. And then we're going to do it eventually do a lean to right here going this direction. So long as that water drips from here. And it doesn't drip all the way down to here. So I have the lean-to here. It'll fall onto the lean-to and come out. Uh, the back, we're not going to put a lean-to on the back. But I did have it out about that far. So uh, at least the rain will come down to here. And Bob did mention maybe put some kind of gutter. Like just dig the dirt here, put it here. So I have a valley for the water to kind of divert here. Um, and... We just took out just put the middle beam in the middle for the weight there. And I think Bob said, you said you'll be more comfortable with the beam on the sides to hold the brace, brace it up here. Cause he said it's only holding up by this little, little deal here. So all the load. So I think uh, two by six, two by six is the least oh, that would, that would be nice. I mean, that here and here. And then we have a beam in the middle. So other than that, it's looking good. Um, this is this is really tall for a chicken coop, but maybe they don't drink coffee and it's not going to stunt their growth. But uh, but coffee with eggs is pretty much the thing. So they they stay small because of that. You feed them coffee, guys. Don't do that. Don't do that. But uh, I probably from this point all the way around, I'm probably going to put shelves to, to, to put the not the feed because you don't want rats in here. You don't want to store feed in here. But maybe uh, just essentials for the chicken stuff you need like maybe i don't know uh water feeders and feeders that you're not using and just other kind of cleaning tools and cleaning supplies and maybe stuff up there uh maybe not cleaning supplies because maybe they might get into it and eat it okay well anything else you did you want to like anything anything any concerns no it looks good no it's, it's good enough it's a chicken coop it is chicken. <laughs> so uh it's coming along good and it's nothing, no rocket science to this right now. It's just slapping, slapping deck boards on in a minute. So, all right, well, I got to go. We got to go do what we got to do. Juicy get, crab. Juicy crab. Not juicy Canuck, juicy crab. It's going to be awesome. Yes. I'm really super excited for this. I mean, I love food, so I'm always excited for every video. But this is like over the top crazy. Yeah, so that's one thing you get. You get treated like royalty when you come to Memphis, Tennessee, if it's not snowing. So, okay but it's 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 because juicy crab has a free <laughs> free challenge if you eat it it we always we, we always say it's free but you have to eat the whole thing within the time limit to get it free if not i don't even ask the price because i don't want to know yeah i'm just so cheap i'm, I'm just gonna have to finish it so okay we gotta go guys we're gonna get ready we'll talk to you when we get back from juicy crab but please check that video out if it's not out yet it'll be out soon and again notorious b.o.b. his link will be in the description and maybe in the top corner here and there just just check the look is it an eye it's a card but it's an eye what why is it an eye information, information? why don't they say information it's a card like what's that i don't know we call it cards because that's what they call it on the on the edges. Keep, keep things level. Man. Keep things level. Level-minded, guys. Talk to you later. Hey, I just gonna tell you guys. I do feed her. I have to do this. What is that, the king crab? King crab. Okay. And when you get to here, you're going to want to...
Bob's getting techniques. He's getting fast technique things from Tasha before we start. But uh, I just had to show you guys. She does get fed every now and then. But I'll, uh, I gotta get set up here. Folks, we just made it back from the Juicy Crab. We are taking a nap. Uh, about to drive about, I guess, eight hours straight to, to a little past Dallas, um, to Denton, Texas. No, Plano, we're doing Plano. Plano? First, no, we're going to Denton. I don't know. We don't know where we're going. We're going that direction. No, because we're doing the Patriot Sandwich. Patriot Sandwich? Yes. Yes, that's in Denton. So we, uh, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna run and do a team challenge in Plano. Uh, then Monday we're doing the burrito. So Ooh. yeah, and then we're we're done with this this leg of this tour. So uh, <laughs> they this, don't need a big nap. Yeah, this was an extra. This wasn't even planned until no. you got here. Spur of the moment. Yeah. Well, right before you got here. Yeah. So it's uh. So we're gonna take a little nap after you eat that much. You got to see. You got to see the spread, and you got to see that it was a shocker almost. It was still a shocker. Not even almost. So. 150 bucks per on the line 100 yeah didn't even tell you guys 147 dollars before tax and gratuity so uh there's a lot in the line yeah so you're gonna see that was each yeah so 300 dollars. we need to take a nap after all that i know i do yeah because that was stressful really stressful <sighs> so a little bit Yep. So we're gonna we're probably we're probably gonna get to you right before we leave on the uh, the trip tonight. Uh, we're taking a nap, but we, like I said, about 50 times, because I, I really do I really do need to go uh, because uh, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let him sleep since he's the guest through the night, and then um, I'll have an excuse tomorrow if I if I'm lacking. There you go. So okay. <laughs> I see how this. Yep. See ya. See ya. Go post stop recording. Hey folks, I'm going to wrap this vlog up now. Um, it is about 10.30, 10 10.45 right now. Uh, we're about to head out on the road. Um, Bob's getting ready to uh, pack his stuff because I'm going to drop him off at the Dallas airport Monday about 3 p.m. Um, so we can leave out from there and go home. Uh, then I'll head back home. But we're headed out now to do a few challenges up towards um, our destination is Saginaw, um, te uh, Texas, and that's supposed to be Monday. Um, but I do want to continue to keep thanking you guys for helping him come to the trip and get back home. He's really happy about that one. But uh, I want to thank Jeff Schwartz. That's, uh, he goes as um, Sports Freak 97 uh, Sarah McConnell, Natasha Shank, and on Facebook, uh, look up My, Fa My Fabulous Nails with Natasha on Facebook. Um, Anna Kramer, uh, Ray Slocum, John Lyons, uh, John Watson and Joe Coat, and to get uh, Bob back home here, we got Kathy O'Neill, Leslie Couch, Chris Cooper, Roger Collins, Drugstore Makeup Diva, and Jen A from Sweden. So I want to thank you guys, and also for the spin wheel we're doing Sunday, uh, 10K uh, Diamond Eyes had actually uh, sent us money to get products for the spin wheel. So I want to thank you guys for that. I want to wrap this vlog up, hit the road, and we will see you in the uh, morning on the next vlog. So thank you very much. Good night. Go post stop recording. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.DougGarbageDisposalStore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email at the very bottom there is a free newsletter just sign up for right here um, and you will get a weekly newsletter so uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel what are you waiting on hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos please comment i like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you so i do like to interact with you guys uh, Please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss, and have a great day unless you meet other plans.